can you play it? It's time for change to move into the real work of the universe. And it's time to understand that we use the matter state to reach the level of understanding of the soul of the man. Now, you understand Maybe, why the Creator has sent His messengers in the name of whatever you have had, is that they bring the ears, that it can be used when the time of the Messiah comes, they can teach the soul and the messenger, not to oppose, but by them understanding through those who have become messiahs to give from their souls to these to elevate, the job is made easy. The school is there and the students are devotedly there. Then there won't be any fight between what they call the Muslims and the Christians. The lamb and the lion will eat and sleep in the same nest. The Christians and the Muslims will sleep and pray in the mosque then the same church in the name of their souls, not in the name of religion that is used to create so much conflict. For the benefit of those who were the hyperactive children. The time has come, the time of change is here. And as I said, my wish is my command. If it is your wish to see peace, the path of peace is laid very clearly. It's the soul of the collective awareness by giving will create that position of change. No other thing. There is no pen in the soul of the man. And I'm sure, once you go into the Universal Community, you will never see anything written, but the balance of the fields of the Soul of the Existence. Try to be humble enough, not to become arrogant in the power that you have understood and you possess. Otherwise, you'll fall in the same path of the Church and the Mosque. This is what we promised, and this is what we have delivered. We have to understand the operation of the soul, and we have to understand the soul of the man is a star, in the cosmos of the universe. If we compare the soul of the man, and many of us, seven billion, in one collection, Earth is like a galaxy, with so many stars. When we look in the depth of the universe, we see galaxies with hundreds of millions of stars in it. So is the planet Earth. It carries seven billion beautiful stars, which are the soul of the man. It carries with it, soul of so many trillions, animals, plants, and everything else. So if you look, when someone who does not see the physicality of the Earth, and its content, what do they see? They see a galaxy, with so many beautiful lights shining, each one according to their strength, each one according to their position, An infant has a beautiful soul, so has the old man. 
to those who do not see the physical dimension of this planet, but they see the strength of the field. We are a clusters of stars. The human race, every single soul, no one from a distance sees, that's the soul of a fisherman, that's the soul of the cosmologist, that's the soul of the president. They all shine, in respect of the physicality. This is the magic. This is what the new science has to bring to man. When we look to our soul, we see nothing but we star in the other souls. And this is the break. This is the understanding. This is what all these teachings are about. Coming to mature to the next level, to understand in the deep space, the universe is the oyster for those souls who serve. Then, man is ready to go into a space. Then man is ready to become part of the universal community which has been promised. I never promised you heaven. I always promised you the elevation of the man to join the family. And now you have the key. It's you who has to open the door to understand if I can raise the soul of these people or millions of other souls that the physical life on this planet changes, then I'm worthy to be part of the universal community. To be there to serve, to expand, to be there to be part that in the cycle of life of universe, I become, in being part, I become part of the totality. When man reaches that point, a new dimension in the strength of the soul of the man will appear, which is beyond imagination of understanding of the physical life. It's the gate to the opening of the new life, in a new dimension, which is beyond imagination of what you might call a new beginning, a new cycle. Which that cycle carries with itself the origin of the creation of life in the universe. Is the elevation of the soul to serve, become the key, not a throne of the physical life. The time is right. The time has come for the man to go through this process. Hello, good evening everybody. I am <coughs> from the Earth Council, represent Universal Council, sorry, representing the Netherlands uh, town. I have the eer om u vanavond een mooi overzicht te geven van de responsibility of the Universal Council. Is it Rick who's following the charter in pages, please? Um, Vince, no, Flint. Uh, or Flint. Yes, me. Uh, sorry, Flint. Flint. Okay. Thank you, Flint. Can you go to number five, please? Page five.
the Universal Council, one planet, one race, one nation. The responsibility of the Universal Council is to guarantee that each language on Earth and those of other essence of creation and from other positions in the universe which reside on Earth are represented as one Universal Council. Member and all languages have the same rights, equal responsibility, value, and position in the council. Can you scroll up a little bit, Flynn, please? Each member, thank you. Each member represents the needs and wishes of the people and entities who speak their native language, regardless of the geographical circumstances members of the Universal Council are here to support mankind and others on Earth and beyond to facilitate a peaceful, prosperous future for the human race and others for harmonious.